Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Only Life PT. My name is John. I'm going to be your instructor today. Please remember, this is a workout class, not a rehabilitation class. If you experience pain throughout any exercise, stop that exercise and simply wait for the next one. Please remember, this workout will have different modification. Modification being number one, being the easiest. Modification number two, with our legs up into the air, being harder. Please choose the modification that's right for you. Um, and we have several exercises with our head and shoulders up off the mat just to strengthen the deep neck flexors to improve our posture. If your neck gets tired, simply place one hand behind the head, trying to keep the head and shoulders up off the mat, but otherwise drop back down to the mat, neck on flat, chin tuck. So, play is not a competition, always work within your own limits. Um, today we're just going to run over the basics to really find your pelvis and then get into Pilates 101. So laying down on your backs, knees bent up into 45. So knees bent up into 45, knees and feet hip width apart, neck long and flat, chin tuck, shoulder blades tucked under, pulling down and back. So first we're just gonna find neutral pelvis. So place your hands onto your hip bones and point us onto the uh, pubic bone and just rock the hips forward and back a few times until you find a nice comfortable spot where there's no tension on the lower back. And if you look down towards the triangle, this should be nice and flat. So if you articulate too far, you'll have a triangle facing down and if you articulate the other way, it'll face the roof. You just want to find a nice neutral pelvis Rock the hips forward and back. Great. So we want to hold neutral pelvis while we're sitting and while we're standing and while we're working out. So now we're going to find the pelvic floor. Pelvic floor is short for transverse abdominis, wrap around rib cage to rib cage, and pelvic floor, which holds the intestines up towards the stomach. So take your pointers, two fingers, place them on the hip bone. And now in a centimetre and down a centimetre, and it should be nice and juicy, fleshy meat, lower bladder. So the breathing is in through the nose. And as you breathe out, start breathing out. And then squeeze the pelvic floor. Same sensation as holding yourself from going to the bathroom. Inhale to relax. Exhale. Squeeze the pelvic floor, same sensation as holding in a cheeky fart. A couple more times, inhale to relax. Breathe in through the nose, fill the rib cage. Start your exhale and then activate the pelvic floor, nice and tight. One more time, breathe in. Start breathing out. Squeeze the pelvic floor all the way out. Beautiful. Now we're just going to get into a couple of leg exercises while we warm up the T zone. So the well, first one we'll do is just leg slide out, just sliding the leg out along the mat. So neck long, flat, chin tuck, shoulder blades tucked under, neutral spine. Keep your hands down here on the pointers to find the T zone, yeah? So breathe in through the nose, feel the rib cage. Start breathing out, squeeze the pelvic floor and then slide one leg out along the mat until you fully extend it, toes pointed. Inhale, swapping sides, relax. Breathe out, squeeze the pelvic floor, hold the tension, squeeze, 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 slide the opposite leg out. Inhale, swap sides. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Inhale, swap sides. So keep going at your own pace. I'll go through the concentration points. And as we push the leg out, we want to squeeze the pelvic floor tighter and tighter and tighter. Maintain the nice neutral spine. Moving the leg within the hip joint. Hips stay dead still. Two more times. 
So what we're doing is creating tension a little bit for the abdominals. Last one. Breathe out, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And resting, coming back in a neutral spine. So we're just gonna do one more. Imprinted spine, toe taps. So rock the hips back now. Force the lower back into the mat. You'll feel the lower back get pushed into the rib cage, into the mat. Bring the legs up into 90, shins at 90, knees at 90. Keep forcing the lower back into the mat. You can place your hands under your bum here slightly to hold your bum down. Neck long and flat, chin tucked, shoulder blades tucked under. Inhale through the nose, feel the rib cage. Start your exhale. Squeeze the pelvic floor and then drop one toe. Knee stays at 90 to the mat. Inhale. Nice and slow, come back to 90. Exhale, swapping sides. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Same sensation as holding them cheeky fart. Inhale, back to tabletop. So you can continue on at your own pace. Beautiful, so concentration points. Really force the lower back into the mat. As you exhale, start your exhale. Squeeze your lower abdominals, pelvic floor. Neck long and flat, chin tucked. Then we're moving the leg within the hip joint. Hips stay dead still. Knee stays at 90. Two more times. And resting. Knees and feet back on the mat. Coming back into 45. Knees and feet hip width apart. Neutral spine. So now we're going to go into the abdominal series. Abdominals curls. We'll do bicycle legs and then we'll do oblique curls. So modification number one, feet stay on the mat. If you want to test yourselves, modification number two, legs come up into tabletop. Choose the modification that's right for you. Hands come interlace behind the head or simply holding the head up. Force the lower back into the mat. Inhale through the nose, feel the rib cage. Start your exhale. Squeeze the pelvic floor, lower abdominals, and then curl up. Head and shoulders up off the mat. Chin tuck, looking down towards the belly button. Inhale, lower back down, but don't rest. Exhale, curl up, ribs to hips first. Then chin tuck, looking down towards the belly button. Inhale, lower back down, but don't rest. Beautiful. Keep going at your own pace. Check out your posture. Go to the concentration points. If you're in modification number two, force the lower back into the mat. If you're in modification number one, keep the maintain the neutral spine. Beautiful. That's it, Lisa. Come up a little bit higher. Exhale, squeeze. Perfect, Leah. Perfect. So, elbows nice and wide. Chin tucked. Curl up ribs to hips. Beautiful. So, on this last one, we're going to hold the extension at the top. So, curling up ribs to hips. Hold the extension. Inhale through the nose, fill the rib cage. Exhale, curl up a little bit higher. And then lowering back down, head and shoulders back on the mat, coming to rest. Nice work, guys. Perfect. So now we're going to go into bicycle legs. Modification number one, head stays on the mat. But I want everyone to test themselves. Leah and um, Belinda, Elisa and Belinda, you can put one hand behind the head to support the head. So the setup, neckline and flat, chin tuck, shoulder blades tucked under, neutral spine. Rock the hips back, imprinted spine, legs come up in a tabletop. Force the lower back into the mat. Beautiful, hands reaching out towards the back of the room, inhale through the nose. Exhale, curl up, ribs to hips, chin tuck, hold this position as we kick one leg out. Draw the other knee towards our chest. 
Inhale, swap your sides, legs come to tabletop. Exhale, kick out the legs, one pointed, one pulling towards the chest. And speed it up a little bit. Hand can come behind the head to support the head up. But we want to keep the head and shoulders up off the mat for as long as we can to work the abdominals. So concentration points. Force the lower back into the mat. Toes pointed, only reach the, lo the leg down as low as you can to hold stability. So you might just go nice and little for a while, but then eventually, right down. Let's go for three more. One, two, three, and resting. Head and shoulders back on the mat. Give the knees a little hug. Beautiful. So that just a baby warm up of the abdominals. So we'll do oblique curls and then maybe one more. See how we go. So set up. Knees and feet hip width apart. Neutral spine to start with. Hands come interlaced behind the head. Modification number one, feet stay on the mat. Modification number two, rock the hips back. Legs come up in a tabletop. Choose the modification that's right for you. Inhale through the nose, feel the ribcage. And on the exhale, curl up opposite shoulder to opposite hip. As we look towards the side of the room, elbows nice and wide. Inhale, lower back down, feel the ribcage. Exhale, curl up opposite shoulder to opposite hip. Looking towards the side of the room. Inhale, lower back down. Beautiful. Keep going at your own pace. Stay in the modification that's right for you. Beautiful. Just shins down a little bit, Kylie. Shins at 90, knees at 90. Force the lower back into the mat if you're in modification number two. Perfect. Modification number one, trying to maintain that neutral spine. We're trying to twist through the thoracic. Perfect, Belinda. Perfect. Exhale, curl up, opposite shoulder, opposite hip. Twist through the thoracic, couple more layer. Last one. And resting. So we'll do one more, one more guys. We'll do hundreds prep. Working the hands and the feet at the same time. Everyone, modification number one and two is the same. So force the lower back into the mat, legs come up in the tabletop, hands come straight above the shoulders, neckline flat, chin tucked. So inhale, fill the rib cage, and on the exhale, we're going to curl up ribs to hips, sweep the hands as we kick the legs out. Inhale, lower back down, but don't rest. Exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, curl up head and shoulders, chin tucked. Inhale, lower back down, but don't rest. Pump them out. There's only a few to go. So concentration points. Chin tucked. Support the neck. That's it, Lisa. Perfect. Inhale, exhale. Squeeze. Squeeze the abdominals down. Beautiful. Couple more. Last one. And resting. Head and feet back on the mat. Neutral spine. Give the back a bit of a rock out. Side to side. Knees stay locked together. Beautiful. Coming onto your side. Side laying booty series. Bottom hand out nice and straight. Feet bent up into 45. Feet directly and lift the bottom. Body's in total alignment. Take the top hip, push it away to create neutral spine. So you should have a gap between the waist of the mat slightly. So now we take the top hip, top knee, and push it towards the computer forward. So the knees are right uneven. 
So if you stay here and you move the clam, you're going to rock the body back like this. We want to isolate it. We want to push the hip forward. So when we open the clam, we only just open it a little bit. So we're doing clam. Inhale through the nose. Start your exhale. Squeeze the heels together slightly. And then open up the clam. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. You might feel it a little bit in the hips. That's all right. But put one hand on the glutes here and we're feeling for that muscle to contract. It's just a nice steady little movement, but we're working the glute mid, which pulls the pelvis around. So we can try modification number two. Feet came off the mat. Ankles come off the mat. Choose the modification that's right for you. Think modification number two is easier. Right, I have a bit of a rest. Give the glutes a big hit. So we hit the glute to make it activate all the spindles in it. Reset, top hip pushed away, top knee forward, inhale through the nose. Exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor. You might be able to hold the tension on it, but every time you breathe out, just try and squeeze a little bit more. Same sensation as holding in a cheeky fart. Couple more. And resting, feet back on the mat. So we're going to do bicycle legs now, working the glute muscle. Top hip pushed away, top leg reaches out towards the back of the room. Inhale, knee comes to chest, hips stay where they are. Exhale, kick with the heel, sweep with the toe, and at the end, a little extension, squeeze. Knee to chest. Extension, squeeze the glute, feel it contract. Beautiful, so concentration point. Hip stays, the leg stays at hip height the whole way around. Moving the leg within the hip joint, hip stays dead still and pushed away. Toes pointed, squeeze the calf, the glutes, the hamstring. Two more times. Beautiful and resting. Come back into neutral. So now we're going to do zigzags. Working the glute muscles still. Top hip pushed away, neutral spine. Top knee comes forward slightly, only activate the glute muscle. Top leg reaches out towards the back of the room. Toes pointed. So first we're going to sweep forward. Leg comes in line with the other leg. Rotate from the knee and the hip to three ankle taps to the ground. Coming back up, neutral, hip height. Sweep the leg back behind the body. Rotate the ankle to face the ceiling, three taps to the ceiling. Beautiful, neutral, hip height, sweep forward. Three taps. Feel the tension on the glutes, yes? Yeah? Sweep the leg back, hip stays pushed forward. Three taps to the ceiling. Beautiful. Keep going at your own pace. I'll go through the concentration points. Top hip pushed away. Hold the tension on it. Rotating through the hips. Knee and ankle face the ceiling. Leg stays at hip height as we sweep forward. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Couple more. As you breathe out, squeeze the pelvic floor. Two more, last one, and resting, woohoo, good morning Monday, so last one before we swap sides and stretch out, knees come to 90, shins come to 90, modification number three, clam, take the top hip, push it away, neutral spine, that massive gap between the waist and the mat, 
top knee comes forward, so we only activate the glute muscle. Inhale through the nose, fill the rib cage, and on the exhale, just simply open up the knee and the ankle, same time hip height. So Lisa, knees at 90, shins at 90, top hip pushed away, and we're lifting the ankle and the knee, same time hip height. Top hip pushed towards the computer. Lisa, knee and ankle, same time. Couple more. And resting. Woo. So just roll onto your backs quickly. We're going to stretch out that right glute. So right leg comes over left knee. Can pull the left knee towards us and then we curl up ribs to hips, reaching through, ow, and pull it down towards the chest. So arms nice and long, shoulder blades down, trying to get the head and shoulders back on the mat. Chin tuck, so to do that we breathe in, breathe out, relax, pull, relax. Breathe in, breathe out, pull, pull, pull. Last one, breathe in, breathe out, pull, pull, pull. And resting. Swapping sides. So the setup, bottom hand out nice and long and flat. Head resting on the arm, feet bent up into 45, feet directly underneath the bottom. Top hip pushed away, neutral spine. Top knee comes forward, so we only activate the glute muscle. Inhale through the nose, fill the rib cage. And on the exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor and then open up the clam. Every time you breathe out, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the clam tighter and tighter. Squeeze the pelvic floor. If the hips are starting to rock around, push the knee forward, isolate it, and just open up a little bit. Modification number two, which I think is easier, feet come off the mat. Try and squeeze the heels together and then activate the glute, and then open up the clams. That's it, let's give the glutes a bit of a hit. Right round. Top hip pushed away, top knee forward, inhale through the nose, and continue. So concentration points. Massive gap between the waist and the mat. Hips are stacked on top of each other. Neutral spine. As you open up the clam, squeeze the heels. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Couple more. Feel the burn. And resting. Woo. So going into bicycle legs, working the glute muscle. Top hip pushed away. Reach the top leg out towards the back of the room, toes pointed. Hand comes onto the hip, don't let it rock around. Inhale, knee to chest, kick with the heel. Stretch the hamstring, then sweep with the toes, activate the calf, the glutes, and then extension. So concentration points, leg stays and sweeps at hip height. Kick with the T, uh, heel, sweep with the toes, and then hold that hips here, and then do the extension. Top hip pushed away, neutral spine. Moving the leg within the hip joint, hip stays locked. 
Feel the glutes, feel it working. Two more. Last one. And resting. Woo. So going into zigzags, work on the glute muscle. Top hip pushed away. Reach the top leg out towards the back of the room. Inhale through the nose. Sweep the leg forward to be in line with the other knee. Rotate from the ankle and the knee. Three taps to the ground. Coming back up, neutral. Sweep the leg back. Hips stay locked. Rotate. Three taps to the ceiling. Neutral, sweep. Inhale. Three taps. Feel the glutes burning. So concentration points, top hip pushed away, top hip dead still, we're moving the leg within the hip joint. Feel the burn, feel the burn, two more. One, two, coming back into neutral. Woo. So last one guys, modification number three, clamp. Feet come into 90, shins at 90, align with the mat. Head resting out, nice and long and flat. Take the top hip, push it away. You can shimmy your body a little bit closer. Massive gap between the waist. Top knee comes forward, so we only activate the glute muscle. This time, Lisa, we're moving the ankle and the knee, same time to hip height. Inhale through the nose. Start your exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, same sensation, holding a fart. Open up the clam. So you can maintain pressure on the lower abdominals, pelvic floor. Keep going at your own pace. Check out your posture. That's it, Lisa. Try and stop the hips from rocking around and lift the ankle as well as the knee. Nice and tight, same time, hip height. That's it, Carolee, perfect. Beautiful, Belinda. So keep the top hip pushed away, neutral. Let's do three more. Three at the top. Three big ones. And resting. Woo. So laying on your back, so stretch out that glute. Neck long and flat, chin tuck, shoulder blades tucked under, neutral spine, left leg comes over right knee. Pull the knee towards our chest, then curl up, rips the hips, grab the back of the hamstring, or reach through back of the knee, and pull it down towards our chest. Lengthen through the arms, the shoulders, the tendons. Leg long and flat, chin tucked. But as we exhale, trying to get the head back onto the mat. So head back on the mat, chin tucked. Exhale, pull, pull, pull. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull, pull, pull. And relax. One more time. Pull, pull, pull. And relax. Woo. So just going to finish on the back and we're done for the day. Carol Lee, my guns are still hurting from Friday. I can't believe it. <laughs> right, I lay down the mat. Legs deactivated. Forget about the legs. Legs just slightly apart, deactivated. Start from the pubic bone. So push the pubic bone into the mat. Suck the abdominals up. Arms reaching out towards the back of the room. Inhale, tuck the chin. And on the exhale, come into a little flight, force the shoulder blades down and back. So we're really moving the shoulders, not much the spine. Exhale, shoulder blades down and back. Every time you come down, reset, suck the belly up. On the exhale, shoulders 
shoulder blades down and back. So concentration points, pubic bone pushed into the mat, abdominals sucked up. As we curl up, force the shoulder blades down and back, neck long and flat, chin tuck, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Shoulders touch the mat, shoulder blades down and back. Two more times. And resting, head to one side. Give the body a bit of a shake out. Beautiful. So we're going to come into um, just curling up and pulsing down as we're doing 100 preps. So breathe in for five, breathe out for five. So the setup, legs deactivated. Push the pubic bone into the mat, activate the glutes. Suck up the abdominals. Inhale, tuck the chin. Palms facing down. On the exhale, curl up, lift the hips backwards, neck long and flat as we start pulsing the hands. So inhale for five, exhale, curl up a little bit higher, squeeze the pelvic floor. Neck long and flat, chin tucked, inhale for five, exhale for five. Let's go for two more. Suck the abdominals up. Last one. And resting, head to one side. Give the back a bit of a shake out. Beautiful. So we'll just do one more and then we'll um, stretch out the back and the hamstrings and the legs. So we're going to do flight, work in the tuck shop arms. So as we curl up, same as the first one, thumbs face the ceiling, thumbs face the ceiling, shoulders touch the mat. Thumbs face the ceiling, thumbs face the ceiling, shoulders touch the mat. So the setup, pubic bone pushed into the mat. Neck long flat, body nice and flat, suck up the abdominals, inhale, tuck the chin. On the exhale, curl up ribs to hips backwards as we rotate the thumbs, squeeze them right around, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lower back down, shoulders touch the mat, thumbs face the ceiling. Exhale, flat, twist, twist, twist. So every time you twist, you'll feel the triceps working. Inhale, lower back down, shoulders touch the mat. Beautiful. Keep going at your own pace or check out your posture. Concentration points. Legs deactivated. Forget about them. Pubic bone pushed into the mat. Suck the abdominals up. Chin tuck, Lisa. Don't want to have a back neck extension. Exhale, curl up, ribs to hips, face the thumbs, keep twisting, keep twisting. Beautiful, lower back down, thumbs face the ceiling, twist, twist, twist. Exhale, that's it, Carolee, perfect. That's it, so we're working the tuck shop arms. Morning, Michael. Two more to go. And lowering back down, shake out the body. So it's going to push back into child's, or oh, stretch out the back first. So legs deactivated, come up onto their elbows. Let's come up to a nice little back stretch. Glutes activated, push the pubic bone into the mat. Beautiful. Now we'll push back into child's pose, stretch out the back the other way. Feet together, sitting down onto the ankles. Walk the hands out, back comes nice and long in length. You can bring the bum up off the heels and then push back slowly, lengthening. Mm. 
Inhale, lift up onto the fingertips and exhale, walk the fingertips out further and further. Lengthen through the spine. Beautiful, come up onto the hands and knees. You can take your mat or your towel and flip it over one. Then come up onto the knees, come into a little lunge. Take the bum, tuck it under. And then push downwards and forwards towards your opposite ankle. So you'll feel the stretch right up on the hip here. Hip flexors. So let's do a little back bend. Feel the stretch come up all through the chest. And releasing. So if you can, ankle to bum. If you can't, just quickly come to standing, ankle to bum. So pull, pull, pull. Relax, inhale. Exhale, kick, kick, kick. Relax, inhale. Pull, pull, pull. And releasing. Coming back to the mat, so we're gonna rotate around. Come into like a side lunge, hamstring stretch. So we're just going twist, twist, twist. Reset the feet a bit. Now we're stretching out the hamstring, so we want to roll the ankle around a bit. Beautiful. So inhale nice and tall, exhale, roll, come down onto a 45. So we're getting the inductors and the hamstrings. Inhale, exhale, stretch. Beautiful, and swapping sides. So opposite leg comes out the front. Take the bum, tuck it under, and then push down on a 45. Back stays nice and straight, push down towards the ankle. Do so you feel this from the knee all the way up until the hips? Now let's do a little back bend, stretch back a little bit. Feel the stretch come up into the abdominals, ribcage. And relaxing, come out of that stretch, come back up to upright. If you can, anchor to bum in this position. Otherwise, just stand up quickly. Ankle balance on one foot, ankle to If you need to balance on something, you can. <laughs> so, kick, 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 activate the quads. Relax, breathe in. Pull, pull, pull. One more time. So, kick the foot into the hand. Kick, 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 kick. Relax. Pull, 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 pull. And releasing. So come into the side squat. Just pretty much squat both legs down and then kick one leg out. So once we're in this position, we want to lengthen the hamstring. So roll the ankle around. Push, pull, push, pull. Beautiful. Now push that other knee away with your hand. Inhale, exhale, come down on a 45. Feel the stretch from the bum all the way to the back of the knee. So 
So you can just come sitting on the bum like this if you want. Hamstring. Same principle, push, pull, push, pull. And then lean down on a 45. And resting. Thanks, Leah, for coming. Monday morning, how'd this go? <laughs> how'd you go, Lisa? Not talking. Can't How'd talk. you go, Belinda? Thumbs up, first yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> bum hurts. Oh, yeah. My bum and like on guns on guns. <laughs> My bum is like so sore now. <laughs> <laughs> it will get better. Second and third week will be really good. Good. But even I hurt. Well, how about you, Carolee? How was your weekend? Yeah, good, good. Uh, I, I did, that. did a bit over the weekend. So stretched out did. the arms. <laughs> Kylie, I did 10 kg dumbbell guns on guns, and they're still hurting right now. All right, <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's been a pleasure. Uh, it's